Hello YouTube, so today I'm bringing you a different kind of video. Uh, it's off my desk at the moment, with a fucking hair on my desk. Anyways, this is a standard PCI Express cable. Doesn't say PCI Express though, but trust me, it's a PCI Express cable. This connects to two Mulex connections with three pins in each. Uh, first of all, I don't understand why they use two grounds and a plus 12. Why can't they join the two grounds together? Although, because I don't understand it, I'm not going to say it's wrong. But using two of these plugs, I can definitely say it's wrong. Because those cables will take the load. And uh, I kind of fixed it my way. I did some soldering and I fixed it. Uh, on the power connections from the PSU, you can see how can I show you? Ah, from this way. You can see you got one uh, missing in the middle there. One of the pins are missing in these uh, converters, as you would call them. But in the in the connections from the PSU you would have all six like you can see on this video let's try to focus the thing yeah now you can see all six so yeah uh, I don't really get why they did remove the one of the 12 volt leads one of the yellow 12 volt leads focus damn it yeah, I don't get why they removed one of the 12 volt leads. And um, let's grab that one over here. Uh, here we got a 20 pin connector for uh, the Cool Master Stacker. I got this along with the case. And this has two cables coming out from it. I have saved a fair bit of cable if I decide to use this again. What this does is allowing you to run multiple power supplies. Then I figured, hey, if I buy two of these 24 pin connectors, I will be able to remove the pins from the holes in here, remove all of these, and just um, keep two of them, the two I will need to start out the power supply. But removing these are not an easy job, I can tell you. So I ended up scrapping that idea and uh, I ended up, like I showed you, cutting this one apart and uh, basically making this. I know the cable is a little bit too short, but I cut the cable and then I had to make it a bit shorter to uh, wire it correctly and make big hefty uh, solder joints I don't know how much power will be going through these but I think it's a fair bit of power this is still bendy enough to be bended and uh, shaped into form I used uh, two zip ties to even out the load and on this side this is the regular ID to have only two pins remaining in the plug because I don't want to cut the pins on the back side or cut the cables because then when the cables get a bit worn and threaded the threads can touch and short circuit things and here you can see also I used quite a bit of shrink tubing just to make sure it doesn't uh, short circuit anything and I use zip ties on the shrink tubing so it doesn't glide away even though it didn't want to glide away I took the extra precaution so yeah this is my custom uh, power supply uh, cable and today actually focus is working fairly well on the iPhone 3DS I don't know when I will get the iPhone 4 because nobody knows but I just wanted to 
mainly through the ID up with the PCI cable and ask if anyone knows why they built it the way they did and why you use two grounds and one positive like you can see here you also have a missing pin there and over here in this one I will just show you that pin again you can see it very well there got a missing pin in the thing so tell me why did they build it that way anyways please subscribe to my videos and take care YouTube bye all